Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, we know right before the whole lockdown period, the zone was meant to be entering the UK. And, I, and of course, I made plenty of videos on it, as did plenty of other people as well. Now, it's been a long time coming because the zone is, for all intents and purposes, a UK based company. So you would think that UK would have already had it first, right? Or at least a long time ago before now. But boxing being the boom that it is, they want to move it over here and capitalize on the boxing scene because they're not going to get, get the Premier League anytime soon, are they? Now, of course, with the whole lockdown situation, everything that they were planning on doing just went to the wayside because it was meant to be Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo. That was all signed, sealed and set to be delivered for, was it May the 5th? I think it was. And that was meant to be the launch of the Zone UK. But because everything fell to the wayside, um, of course, that didn't happen. And obviously, Billy Joe, he said that he wasn't really training as well as what um, he would normally do. And he's not really looking for a September fight with Canelo, which, of course, the Zone was still planning on entering the UK. But with Canelo and the Zone, these guys are having all their kind of problems that they're having. I don't know whether or not it's resolved. I know that uh, they're going through some kind of renegotiation of the contract. But what... What is that design want to do? They still want to come to the UK and they still wanted Canelo to be the figurehead, the spearhead for Dizone UK. But what they wanted was a UK opponent. Billy Joe Saunders ruled himself out. Um, you've got Callum Smith. He wanted six million. They offered five million. He's like, no, I mean, for me, that's madness. What's the difference? Five million, six million. OK, yes, it's a million and a million is a lot of money. But he ain't going to make five million fighting anyone else, is he? To be brutally honest, right? So Canelo, um, Callum Smith, he ruled himself out. And who else is there really? John Ryder, potentially. And I think that's the kind of guy that DeZone really want. But when Canelo is talking about Avni Yildirim, that's got no interest for us here in the UK whatsoever. We've already seen Avni Yildirim fight when he took on Chris Eubank Jr. in the opening round of the World Boxing Super Series. And Chris Eubank Jr., when he's fighting at super middleweight at that point, not the biggest puncher in the world at super middleweight, and he put this guy out cold. So do we really need to see Canelo versus Avni Yildirim? No, that is the truth of it. But there is a plan B for DAZN. And believe it or not, their plan B is for DAZN to launch, potentially at least, on November the 27th here in the UK. With their fight, Daniel Jacobs versus Gabriel Rosado. Now... I like both fighters. I think um, Daniel Jacobs, he's definitely one of the top middleweights out there. In fact, I thought that uh, he was actually moving up to super middleweight. I thought that was going to be his plan next, but quite clearly not. Because Rosado is, of course, a middleweight. Unless they both haven't had great counts, again, due to the lockdown situation, maybe they are going to be fighting super middleweight. Who knows? Um, but, I mean, these guys, they've had some words in that in the past on social media. But I think Jacobs versus Rosado is no more appealing to the UK-based fans than Canelo versus Yildirim, if I'm being brutally honest. Because as much as we like Daniel Jacobs, as much as we like Rosado, and of course, both of these guys are quite popular over here, especially with Rosado as well, where a lot of people felt that although Martin Murray did beat him, the scorecards were so far ridiculous in favour of Martin Murray, most Brits was like, listen, we can agree that Martin Murray potentially won that fight that's not a problem but the scorecards were disgusting and it's putting a bad bad light on British boxing and the judging the officiating so Gabriel Rosado we like him anyway I like uh, like Gabriel Rosado I, th I think he's a very very good talker he's a very good fighter and I think that he has been screwed over on numerous occasions where to be honest with you he should have got the nod but for some reason judges referees and organizations they see Gabriel Rosado as some kind of journeyman and his resume would look like he's a German because of the amount of losses that he's got. But I'm telling you, quite a few of those should not be in a loss. They really shouldn't be. So it's an interesting fight. Rosado, he always comes to fight. Daniel Jacobs, he's got skills to burn, the miracle man. Um, he gave Triple G a real good night at the office. He gave um, Canelo a real good night at the office. And of course, he beat um, Sergei Devrichenko, probably more convincingly than Triple G did. Was it as convincing as what Charlo just done this past weekend? Mm, probably not, but still. Again, Jacobs and Devrachenko, they're gym partners, okay? So, Gabriel Osado, 
Is he a good opponent for Daniel Jacobs? Well, he'll give him rounds, but I can't see him beating Daniel Jacobs. I can't. I really can't. But anyway, that fight is what it is. If and when that fight gets officially announced, and if it is going to be the launch for DAZN UK, it's going to make me wonder what it is that DAZN UK are really looking at. I mean, where... I mean, who's advising you that this is a good fight to launch in here in the UK? It's not a good fight to launch here in the UK. That's not what's going to drive the numbers. What's going to drive the numbers is a Daniel Jacobs versus a Billy Joe Saunders, which I, I always thought that was the plan. If Billy Joe Saunders or Callum Smith didn't get Canelo, then Billy Joe Saunders versus Daniel Jacobs was almost a shoo-in. Or Billy Joe Saunders versus Demetrius Andrade was almost a shoo-in. Okay, so it means that BJ Saunders, he's, he's, he's going to have to drop down a weight to go take on Andre, unless Andre's going to move up to super middleweight. Of course, Dan Jacobs, he could move up to super middleweight and take on BJ for the WBO super middleweight world title. But if not, then you've got Cam Smith taking on either one of them. Well, no, he wouldn't be taking on a Andre because there's no way on God's green earth that Cam Smith is making middleweight, not without totally depleting himself. He really isn't. And Andre, is he going to move up? I wouldn't have thought so. But these are the kind of fights. That's my point. I think Callum Smith, him taking on, say, um, I don't know, for a unification, for example, outside of Billy Joe Saunders, that would be a good way to launch here in the UK. But of course, what you can't have is Billy Joe Saunders versus Callum Smith to launch to his own UK because these guys are Sky Sports um, fighters. They're matching fighters, which means that they are part of Sky Sports. Sky Sports isn't going anywhere. Sky Sports is still going to be showing all the fights that they currently do, but DAZN is, is going to be coming in and showing us the foreign fights, the fights that are set abroad. That's what they're going to be doing. Even though Sky Sports have been doing it, I, th I, I can only presume that Sky Sports are just going to be now focusing on Saturday night fight night kind of time. DAZN will take on the four, five o'clock in the morning ones because they're in Mexico, they're in America, they're in Canada, they're in China, Japan, Germany. Well, not Germany because Germany has like a our time zone but you get my point so for me down jacobs versus rosado it's it's an okay fight but it's not one that's for the zone uk to make its uh entrance into uk boxing in my opinion hey maybe i'm wrong drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe and i'll catch you all on the next video <laughs>